Bonjour! Hi! Welcome to another video of Cloud in 5 Minutes. I'm Frank Boucher and today I want to show you not one, not two, but four different ways to create an SQL database in Azure. Every solution required data. Today the focus is about SQL database, but of course many different solutions are available in Azure. So let's get started. The first way is to use the portal. So open your favorite internet browser and go to portal.azure.com. This is the main portal for Azure. Now click on that big green plus button in the top left corner and select SQL database. From now, it's pretty easy. You just need to fill up that form. For every database, you need a server. A server can contain multiple databases. So now we need to create a server. You can select many different tiers of database here. So because it's a demo, I will go for a basic one. Voila! Now I just need to click the create button and my database will be created. Once the database is created, you still need to do a little thing before you can connect. By default, Azure will lock the database from any access. That's very good but we need to open it so we can connect. The way to do it is to go grab your resource group we just created. In my case, it was cloud in five minutes. And here we see the two resources we created, our server and the database. Let's click on the database. To change the firewall rules, we just need to click in here, the set server firewall. Now from there, you can select your own IP or set a range of IP so you could access the database. Of course, put something that is meaningful to you. And don't forget to save. To get the connection string, also it's available from here, connection string, and all you have this information all over there. Note that the username and password are not included in that connection string. To access the database, you also have a tool inside the portal. Just click here on Query Editor. It's in preview right now. So you just need to enter your password and voila, you could now enter your query. It's very convenient when you're on the road and you just want to do a quick query. However, like if you need some more heavy lifting, of course, you can use any other tool that you were using previously. One that is pretty new and cool is the Azure Data Studio. It works on Mac, Linux and Windows. It's very easy to install and very easy to use. Let me show you quickly. I have it installed here. It looks a lot like Visual Studio Code. Once you're connected, you can run your query just like any other tool. It's a very light and convenient tool. I have it on all my devices. Of course, creating a database from the portal is very easy and convenient, but it's rarely the solution we'll use in our deployment because it's manual. So that brings me to the second way, using Azure CLI or PowerShell command. So let's open the terminal and I'll just go in code. I have a script prepared for you. So here, you only need three commands to create your database. So the first one here is of course, like any deployment, you will need a resource group. So easy group create you specify the name, in my case, Cloud 5 Minutes and East US. Of course, you pick the, so the location close to you or your user. Then we need to create that server. So it's AZ SQL server, create, and then you specify the name of that server, the resource group that was just created previously, the location again, and then you need to specify the username and the password of the admin. Don't forget that the password need to be strong. So uppercase, lowercase, and special character. The last command to be able to have a database is to create a database. So it's easy SQL again, but this time it will be DB for database create. You will specify the resource group created previously, the server name, and the database name. Run this and you will have the same result as creating the database from the portal. Of course, you could add more command to set up already the firewalls 
and many different other things. But those are the minimum. Now, the third way to create a database is to use the Azure Resource Manager, the ARM template. So for that, we need an, a JSON file. I have one here empty just for you. Let's close it. OK, perfect. So now we need to create our empty template. Voila. And we need to define a server first. So again, we'll create my server. And I need to specify the user and password for my admin. So voila, now the server is created. We still need to add another node for the database. So if you look here, we are in our node server. And in this node, we have a resources list. The database need to be defined inside the server, just like in the portal. So we'll go here at the end and we'll add a new node. Now we need the database. We specify the server name and the database name. Voila! Now your database is defined. So you could add those nodes in an existing ARM template or just create a new one using that method. This way, your database will be created when you will be deploying. A big plus when you're using an ARM template versus a CLI or PowerShell command is that with the ARM template, you don't need to check if the database already exists before trying to create it, since the ARM template will just update what's missing in the resource loop. The fourth and last way to create a database that I want to show you is to use the DevOps pipeline. So to do that, we'll go back in our browser and we'll go on the Azure DevOps website. Here I have the Project Frank demo that I created in a previous video. So you need to go in the pipeline and we'll go in the, you need to go in the release pipeline to create your database. So right now I already have a pipeline defined. If you have none, then you need to create one. If it's already there and just you just want to add the database, you need to click on the edit and we'll add one task here. We click on the plus and search for database. Now here you have MySQL and SQL Server. In my case, I will use the SQL database. So just like before, we fill up the form. So here by default, it will suggest that we restore a DAC pack. A DAC pack is a backup of the database with the data. It's very convenient and it's also possible to do the same thing from the Azure portal, the Azure CLI and PowerShell command, and from the ARM template. If you prefer running a SQL script, you just need here to change for an SQL script. You could even have an inline if you prefer command. Once everything is filled up, when the release pipeline will be running, your database will be created. And voila! So now, directly from the portal, using an Azure CLI or PowerShell script, using an ARM template, or directly from the Azure DevOps, you could create your SQL or any kind of database in Azure. I hope you liked this video and I hope it was useful. If you have a question, don't hesitate to write it down in the comment section. It helps me to define topics of future videos. If it was your first cloud in 5 minutes, then know that every second week I publish short video to answer your technical question. So don't hesitate to share, like and subscribe, this way you won't miss any next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.